Hello Collective, welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently, past, present, and future. Okay, whatever the enemy has stolen from you, tried to steal from you, it is dismantled. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled. Okay, past, present, and future. I pray and hope that you stay only in the purest of white lights and reside only in the highest of vibrational energy. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into this tarot reading. Um, there's a queen, king of wands that I picked up on in my previous reading. Um, there is something where you are wanting to apologize to a feminine energy because of something you may have done or something you participated in. And you may have a woman in your energy that's telling you that if you take any actions to go and apologize to someone that they are going to be really spiteful towards you, may hate you, or they're going to expose you. I don't know if someone is blackmailing you. They should let you know the difference between uh, an empress energy and a and someone that pretends to be an empress energy because that's something that I am um, picking up on. So you want to come towards someone with a friendship offer and you're going towards an empress energy. The woman in front of you that's either blackmailing you or trying to talk you out of going towards an empress energy and apologizing is not a true empress. This is someone that is hurting on the inside. This is someone that's broken. This is someone that's damaged. Uh, this is someone that's committed 110% to being a karmic until she leaves this realm. So someone is hopeless and they are a lost cause. Someone is going through some type of ending behind the scenes and this is repercussions of the actions they took against the actual empress energy okay so i'm guessing this woman is telling you that if you go towards someone to apologize to them they're going to leave you out in the cold that is not true um I want to tell you something because I did look into that energy when I was doing my previous read. You are wondering um, if someone knows what you did and I am being told to tell you before you even took action to do something to a feminine energy, they knew what you were going to do. They knew what you were doing while you were doing it. Someone has been more aware of you than you know and someone was aware of you before you ever even came into their energy physically. Okay. Um, so you all may have, or you don't, you're not aware that the people you are around were planning someone's demise. They were planning to honor life someone, but they are disappointed. This whole family is disappointed because things did not go according to plan. They were trying to do some type of sneak attack and it could have been even as recently as in the past three to four days that they tried to end an empress energy, a high priestess, um, so that you could keep your distance from them and not give them some type of offer because you are set on giving this person an offer, right? You may be trying to balance something out. Um, but what they're telling you is that if you go towards this woman, she's going to leave you out in the cold, going to expose you. Someone don't really care what it is you all have been doing behind the scenes because someone knows that they are secure. Someone is very protected by the spirit realm. Um, you all are participating in some type of magic ritual, some type of dark ritual or something like that. You're going through a Lot of endings this is what's ahead of your community whatever you all are going through right now this is just the beginning of it so strap on your seat belts and hold on tight because it's going to be a long and bumpy ride for a lot of you and this is for some years for people in here so i think what you have realized is when you found out the truth that you actually have been coming after the actual empress the true empress and supporting a false empress okay Whoever you've been collaborating with is not a true empress and you all have actually been coming up against a, a queen of cups, an actual tr true queen of cups. There's something where you see this woman, the one you all were trying to destroy, you see them as a queen of swords and which she is because the empress in the terror deck they are all the queens combined. Okay, so the Empress uh, exemplifies all of the queen's energy within the deck. So they do have different aspects of themselves. They can be a queen of cups. They can be a queen of swords, queen of wands, queen of pentacles. It just depends on the situation and what energy you bring out of that person. So you may see someone as the queen of swords predominantly, but that is because that's the energy you have brought out in them. So that means you did something to them. And now they may just be deciding to be straightforward with you when you come around 
around them. They don't have time for BS because they know you are a facade. So that lets me know when you come towards this woman, you may want to come straightforward, be honest and direct, or they're going to cut you off in a heartbeat. I think you may have a lot of emotions for someone and you've been watching someone a lot and you know the truth about them. You may want to communicate with them, but you're living in some type of fear that the good message you're sending, right, may not be reciprocated. It will be reciprocated with this Ace of Cups out here. So this is what's going to end up with the two of you. That's if you do some self-actualizing before coming to this person, right? Um, you could be someone that's very fulfilled in life or you're going through some type of love that loss. This is someone you have some type of past life connection with. So I don't know if this is like your soul twin, twin flame, whatever the young folks call it in the spiritual community. I don't know what this is, but you two do have some type of contract together. Um, this is possibly something that may start off as friendship because someone is going to have a hard time kind of letting their guard down around you because again, they are aware of what you've been doing um, and I keep being told someone knew exactly what you were going to do before you do it. So you could have been in someone's energy for a while and you didn't realize that someone was gifted. Someone was intuitive, psychic, medium, whatever you want to call it. You didn't know that, but they knew what you were, what actions you were going to take. If this has to do with invading someone's privacy, lying on someone, betraying someone, slandering someone, they know everything that you did. Someone is a high priestess. Okay. They know and everything you've done, they've found the courage and stay strong and move through these obstacles for a long time. This is something you all have been doing for quite a long time, trying to destroy someone's path. And now a lot of you in this community are going through some type of ending. Um, the whole institution, this is an institution within an institution, the whole collaboration, toxic family dynamic. You're going through some type of stagnation, okay? Especially a queen of pentacles in your environment is going through some some type of stagnation, some type of uh, financial insecurity, because this is what she was projecting out for someone else. This is this woman. She could have some legal issues coming in, or this is just someone that's unstable in every way, shape or form. And she's going to have to go within when it comes to this energy that she's been trying to attack, because whoever she's coming after is a high priestess and they know every action this woman plans before they even take it. Someone has been trying to do some type of sneak attack. The entire community came up with some type of plan to do some type of sneak attack to a high priestess and the high priestess knows she's aware before you put on plan something before you plan an ending because you always keep coming up with options or plans on how to end someone's uh, uh resources someone's uh offers and things like that you're trying to put an end to everything you're all under judgment this person is protected you are deceitful all of you including you the king of wands you are someone very deceitful but i think what you are trying to do is turn some type of new leaf and bring balance into a situation you may have made some type of decision to see the truth or speak your truth and it's causing some type of disappointment to these people because they know you want to balance something out you could be someone very high ranking maybe you're interested in marrying someone now and you want to present them with some type of opportunity and you're planning on going towards them and again you may want to come towards this person with a straightforward energy if you come with any chaos they're going to cut you out real quick like someone from the energy I'm getting, she does not have time to play around with people. She is strictly queen of swords or about the truth and intellectual as sharp as can be sharp as a two edged sword. They don't miss a beat. Okay. Okay. So, um, you could be someone that you like to beat around the bush and you're used to people sugarcoating things for, for you or to you, whatever it is. Um, this is something that has left you out in the cold quite a lot because you have a lot of people around you that are not honest with you. Um, so you may want to be careful coming towards this person. Again, someone sees right through everything, like with everybody, this is not just you. Like you talk, when you're talking to this person, they know, they know what it is you are trying to do. If you're trying to deceive them, someone is like, I don't know, a lie detector walking about the face of the earth and people don't know that, but that's because that's something someone hides. They don't tell people that, Hey, um, I can see right through you. I can see your energy. I can see everything before you even say it. I know. So I don't have time to be playing with you again. Come with the truth. 
okay you may be interested in marrying someone you are definitely a king of wands you may be separating yourself from causing all of these illusions and trying to defeat someone because the truth is exposed to you and you know that someone is true and you've been trying to block their money or something like that they've been trying to hold you back as well from coming towards this woman and they're trying to end someone before you can take a new path to come towards them. This is the energy this woman is in. Someone is very abundant. This high priestess you're trying to go to or whoever this is, they're very abundant. This group may have hired a high priestess to do some type of work on this empress energy. This could be a masculine or feminine. Whoever they hire is not having a good time. Whatever money they accept there, every dime of their money is cursed. Every penny of their money is cursed. Someone has bonded themselves to some type of contract. Someone could go to sleep and not wake up like they're about to go night night. So someone could end up out here being afraid to go to sleep. You're going to have to go to sleep eventually. This is going to happen when you least expect it. You'll go to sleep peacefully and not wake up again because you're under some type of judgment, right? You're under some type of judgment for working with this group of people to end someone's innocence, to end someone's resources or opportunities and offers. This is what you all were doing. And there's someone that's sick in this uh, uh, community, but you, the king of wands, um, you are planning to come towards someone to give them an offer. This is like a queen of cups you're coming towards. You may want to help someone with their business or whatever this is. Um, but everyone in this group is fighting. They may be trying to uh, discourage you from coming towards this woman or whoever this is. And again, I keep picking up on a feminine energy that is around you, trying to talk you out of taking some type of action. But I think you know the truth already uh, about everyone. King of Pentacles, King, Queen of Pentacles, everybody in here, the truth is exposed. And whoever you're coming towards, they know the truth. This is an empress you're coming to that's been investing a lot into themselves, right? seeing things from a higher perspective. I want to tell you the truth about, um, again, these, these uh, empresses. There are two different types of women in the world. There are the ones that are truly high, uh, okay, high priestesses that was going to come out, empresses, and there are ones that pretend to be empresses. Actually, three, let's put it this way, are the ones that don't know who they are. Uh, a true empress will invest their time into their self-worth. Okay, acquiring higher knowledge and things like that. What they don't have time for is drama because they see the truth about everyone. They're always practical about how they handle things, their business, their families, friendships, everything. They're always practical about these situations. So even when you go out of your way to cause stagnation for them, trying to defeat them, steal from them and everything. They always see things from a higher perspective, meaning that particularly you, this uh, empress, high priestess energy knew what you were going to do, right? And they understand that we are all walking a specific journey in life. Someone knew that you were going to do something and they may not have told you that they knew you were going to do something. And you're asking yourself, well, if they knew I was going to do this, why didn't they say something? If they knew these people were doing this the whole time, why didn't they, did, why didn't she say or do something about it? That is because someone knew you had a lesson to learn in that community, in that family, in that neighborhood, wherever you are. So she decided to be practical about it and focus on her business on her life right because there's something where you needed to learn about the people around you that they don't have any genuine intentions for you they're all competing with you they don't want to see you thrive these are people that you call friends and family they don't want to see you thrive they're in competition with you it's like it's like they're not as uh, abundant as you because you're someone coming up as very spiritually and physically abundant but you are not in the know about yourself you don't know yourself on a spiritual level there's something about your mental you're always stuck in your mental and these people know it and that's why they cause a lot of confusion for you they know that you're not someone sturdy um, it's not that you don't have any mental illnesses or something like that. It's just that you question your 
plans, your choices, everything you question. You're always asking other people, what should I do? Should I do this? You think this is a good idea? The only problem is the people you're asking don't have any good intentions for you. Again, they are competing with you. Okay. So you may think that you're being practical by asking them and you think they're going to give you the truth, but what they really do is give you information that leaves you in limbo. Like it leaves you martyring yourself, destroying yourself. And you've gotten accustomed to people betraying you so much that you have kind of decided to hold back from people as far as your emotions. So when you met an empress energy, uh, a high priestess, you held back from them too. I don't know if you two are supposed to work together you were supposed to give or balance something out and you two are going to take some type of new path together or something of that nature but again you're someone that's stuck in your mental a lot you have a contract with this person and this is a contract that is divinely meant to be you two may commit to each other or you two are going to commit to each other in some way somehow it is going to be both in work and love and it's going to be very successful so maybe this is the truth being uh revealed to you which is going to lead to maybe you taking action at some point to balance something out because this is going to be something very uh, uh abundant but then you have a community of people around you they are lying and telling you all kinds of nonsense that is not even applicable to the person you're trying to come towards and this is because they want you to leave this person out in the cold but at the end of the day, this is this person and this is what you did to them. You are absolutely a king of wands. You juggled your own future. This is something that may have been funny for you at first when you started doing it. I see you invading someone's privacy, you lying and you gossiping and things like that. Uh, these are all things that someone was supposed to help you overcome because you're someone that's in your mind a lot. Someone was supposed to help you overcome you being so mentally imbalanced, right? questioning yourself all the time so you're trying to decide now how to go about something when to take actions you'll figure it out um but you have people around you that are trying to keep you from moving forward so they're telling you everything that, that you can think of on the face of this earth a lot of lies a lot of lies of manipulation but the entire group around you they are going through endings in their personal lives professional lives there's some type of ending going on you have a king of cups behind the scenes that wants to come back into whoever this is life whether this is this high priestess empress energy whatever this is he wants to come out and you know talk about how he wants to build a family back up uh, back up or something restore something that he damaged i don't think this woman cares about any of that uh i think they're kind of just wishing this man good luck right um because there's something this man did that is unforgivable and he may not think that this woman is aware of it but she knows so he's gonna have to walk on i think this is someone that's trying to go through some type of healing doing some type of self-actualization there is something that you and this man have in common someone may have i don't know if he like grew up alone having to fend for himself may have obligated himself to some jizzy bell energy or someone very toxic um but he has always yeah he may have grown up very alone with few friends um made some poor decisions so when he was giving this empress high priestess energy the same operation of dealing with other women is what he used on this woman but the whole time he didn't know that he was really ending his own abundance okay and i think this is a truth that he's realizing too as well it's that you two are going through some type of revelation he hasn't done the work to heal he may just be starting but he wants to come in to clarify things with this woman but she does not care because there's something this man did that is unforgivable again and i don't think it's that she's um I don't think she's like uh, sitting back and saying, oh, I don't forgive you. Oh, I hate you. It's nothing like that. I think it's just uh, uh, something as far as there's no going back. Uh, you cannot turn back time on earth. So there's no going back because she already knows she's being practical about this situation that if she does get back with this man, it's going to lead to the same thing that they were in. There's something like that going on. Okay. Whoever you are trying to connect with or ask for forgiveness, um, this is someone that is very practical. Um, and this is possibly why you're seeing them as the queen of swords because they are very sharp. And someone is so sharp that their mental can be a little bit um, scary for other people because this is someone that's not only like 
intellectual, but they're gifted as well. So they see things not only on a practical or physical level, but spiritually as well. So this is someone that will see something happening before it happens. Um, and this is terrifying to certain people because they may say things sometimes that uh, people are like, well, you shouldn't know that they're happy, but this is because someone is a master. Um, uh, so they know a lot of things about people that they come across, but they never say it. Um, but when situations come about and they say something, it terrifies people because they're like, well, they're happening behind, uh, in my home behind closed doors. Are you watching me? No, they're not watching you. They just know there is something where if you like understand how the world, how, you know, how the, how creation works, you understand people's behavior. You know what it is that's going on. You don't have to be there to kind of understand what it is they're doing. So someone has that level of understanding when it comes to creation, when it comes to people and how people move. This is like psychology, but on a spiritual level, right? And they don't use that to manipulate because someone is very confident with, with, within themselves and who they are, with the friendships they offer, the love that they offer. Like someone is very confident within themselves, right? So they don't have to manipulate or do anything to get what it is they want or to get, you know, to where they want to be, okay? Um, so you may be leaving a community out in the cold, you're trying to be practical about your alliances with these people as well. There could be a king of pentacles. I don't know if you're a king of pentacles as well. Uh, business minded and things like that is arguing or arguing with this community and trying to get them to see why something is not working because these people, they are still planning on how to take down a high priestess and there is no way to do this. Sorry to tell you all that. Whoever you're trying, um, this is a big revelation. If you didn't know, there is no way. So it does not matter who you go to. You can go to the highest paying practitioner that charges a million dollars for their work. It's not going to work. It's not meant to work. There are no practitioners on earth that has clearance to take this person out. Okay. So if you go to a practitioner that accepts money or bribery to take someone out they're basically accepting a curse because every dime every penny of that money is cursed that is why that is why a practitioner that accept that money from these people behind the scenes to end someone is going through an ending themselves okay with the whole family um someone is just i'm telling you they're gonna go to bed one night close their eyes and that's it that's it they won't be up again and this could be a man that accepted, like a king of swords that accepted some type of payout to do some type of work ritual on someone so that they don't wake up. They can, or, or they can go mad, lose their mind, live in anxiety and fear. It's not working. It's not going to work because what you all don't understand is that someone has a higher understanding of you all than you even do of yourself and of the situation. Someone has a stupendous amount of protection around them that cannot be infiltrated. So there's something where you all were trying to separate someone from their protection, from their ancestors, cut off their connection to source. None of that can be done. Someone was simply placed on this planet to help the vibration raise. And because of that uh, calling on their life, the universe does not care who they got to take out to make sure that their mission is fulfilled. Okay. So all the money you all are spending to end someone, you're wasting your time because they know before you take action. Okay. They know it's like your enemy, your enemy, because this high priestess is not looking at you all as enemies. They're just looking at you all as children. They just don't know your way in life. Okay. There's a woman in here that has been pretending to be a high priestess. She's not a high priestess either. Uh, someone has gone from having a lot of animosity and hate towards a true high priestess. Yeah. To, towards a true high priestess to now copying how she does things. She's there taking notes. It's not going to help you, darling. It's not going to help you. Why it's not going to help you is because you're not healed. You're not willing to do the work to heal. I don't know if you all hire some social media high priestess as well to do something. She's about to be going through some type of ending. Um, someone wants people to believe that she's not of the dark. You know, a high priestess is of the dark when they are willing to accept money to take someone else out, another high priestess out or anyone out because a true high priestess, 
that is of the light will not participate in anything like that. So that should let you know off the bat that the woman that you all went towards, and I don't know if this is someone on social media or a man or whoever, I really don't care. They are not of the light because what they agree to do something. The moment they agree to do something should have let you know that they, don't, they didn't have spiritual clearance to even come into someone's energy. This family is unable, this couple, whoever this is, they are unable to defeat this high priestess empress energy that you all have been coming after. Someone is standing their ground and this has all of you weighed down. Okay. So which means justice will be brought into the situation. Again, uh, king of wands, I don't know like what to tell you, but when you come towards this woman, you may want to come straight forward. I think you're going through some type of ending. The people around you do not want you coming towards this woman. Um, there's something where I don't know if, if you were interested. Yeah, you see this woman as fulfillment. Like this is the person that understands you on a level that no one has ever been able to understand you is that you don't have to explain something to someone. They just know who you are. And that is because of your spiritual contract with this feminine energy. They are not able to defeat someone. Many are not able to block someone from re receiving wish fulfillment, receiving a commitment, being able to move on. This whole family is not able to. So what they're doing now is just telling a lot of lies. They're trapped in some type of paradigm, dark, paradigm that they were trying to create for empress energy but they're the ones in that um and they're losing quite a lot behind the scenes they're uh, uh in some type of fearful state going through anxiety because what you are going to be communicating with this person you will be leaving a community in order to go balance something out and it's going to this is i don't get like a, a dark energy from this seven of swords here i just get that you are leaving a community to go and have victory for yourself like invest in yourself to have a brand new start you are going through healing right and you will be connecting once you leave right with whoever it is that you are trying to connect with uh and again you too maybe your connection is going to start off as business um and then maybe slowly it'll turn into something else the meantime you may want to work on healing your mental healing yourself um because if you come in with someone's energy with that playboy attitude that i'm mr mr um mr fine boy or whatever the heck you want to call yourself if you don't come here towards this woman with uh this kind of energy as far as your character being the upright someone is going to hold back from you okay they're going to hold back from you okay because someone is more focused on balancing things out in their life serving their purpose okay they don't care about any of that good looks money whatever you have that's for the birds when it comes to women that are spiritual all of that is for the birds so you can go give it to the birds if you want to they don't care because someone knows your dark side and if someone knows your dark side and they're still willing to work something out with you still willing to pour into you you got to be dumb out here to think that you can go towards that woman and mislead them with false love because you're the one that's going to be lost losing a whole lot in the end okay because someone is good they're protected by the universe so i don't know what this is you and this person may connect and the relationship will be successful if you come with a genuine intention but if you come towards this person with ulterior motive your life is going to be way down you're going to be you're going to end up with so many burdens it won't even make sense so if you don't if you don't have any true intentions or genuine intentions for someone you may want to hold back and stay in karmic veil and stay in worry about all the endings that you all are experiencing but someone don't got time for the nonsense this is what i'm being told to tell you so you may want to hold back until you have your stuff figured out okay no one cares about your good looks. No one cares about your money. Someone was a gift to you from the universe. You may have made some type of cry out to the universe and said that you wanted someone that was genuine, someone that was true, someone that was this, someone that was that, and they gave that to you. You may have met someone briefly and the universe, what they were doing basically, because this is what you and this person are supposed to have. This was someone who was a gift to you from the universe because this is something that you cried out for to the universe that you wanted a true love i think 
like a true partner, someone that understands you, someone that loves you unconditionally, uh, someone that respects you, someone that's going to stick by you, loyalty. Those are all things you were saying to the universe and they gave you that, but you neglected it. You rejected it because it didn't come in the packet that you wanted it to come in. Meaning you're someone, I think that's very vain. You're into very beautiful women, women that have the plus size, you know, particulars, like the butt, the, uh, the, the breast and all of that. Those are the kind of women you're into very vain and none of them have ever been able to connect with you genuinely because none of them really had integrity. They were really just after you for your money. And this is the God's honest truth. They were really just with you for your money. I don't know if someone lost a grandmother or someone, um, or uh, maybe this is someone that used to tell you to leave the prostitutes alone. Um, or the gold diggers alone, whatever this is, those fast girls, leave those fast girls alone or something like that. Um, I don't know if there's someone out there, your grandmother is still waiting on you to do that. She may be in the spirit realm, uh, trying to pave some type of connection, some type of path for you to connect with someone because she wants you to be with a feminine energy so that it can heal you. Um, because the path you're heading down is going to lead to nothing but destruction. The whole family that came, occur, uh, came up against this high priestess are going through endings. And these towers are going to keep coming in until they leave someone alone. Until they fix something they broke. Until they stop telling these lies. Right. Okay. Until they, until they learn to focus on themselves, let go of something because they're not going to win. They're not meant to win something they're, they've been stern to win or uh, determined to win. They're not going to win. They're going to keep losing money day after day. They're going to keep losing peace day after day. They're going to keep losing everything. And you see this woman, whoever you are coming after, you cannot defeat her. She will have wish fulfillment. She will receive some type of opportunity or will be able to manifest the new life that she wants for herself. There's something where people in a community, a whole group of community or family, they simply don't like someone because of their beauty. It's like they hate a woman because a woman is beautiful. And a woman is, in, is intuitive. She's gifted. Okay. They're bothered. I think they went from laughing at this person's intuition to now it terrifies them. Um, it's like it's like going from you know taking looking at someone as a joke, but then you realize that they are actually the truth, and now you're bothered or you're worried about what could really happen to you. Okay, and you are binded to whatever it is you've been doing. Everything you do, curse rituals, you're binded to them. Yeah, you're binded. Like the heart, the, the source in these hearts, you're binded. And they're not coming out until you all pay your dues. Everybody got to pay their dues. Okay? Everybody's got to pay their dues. Yeah, you two definitely have a soul contract. You, The queen of wands, king of wands is what I'm getting. Because in my last reading, that's how you two came out as the king of wands and the queen of wands. You two have a soul contract. You are not awakened yet to who you are, but the woman is. So she knew you before you two connected. They don't want you coming in to offer someone some type of love. And there's a woman in your energy that is stern, that you give her that offer, that you, that she's wor more worthy of the offer. I don't know if because she has a big behind, a big boobs or whatever, and you're leaving her out in the cold, Okay. I don't know what the heck it is that some people are so vain and superficial. They think that their body parts makes them worthy. You know, like those dumb people, dumb women that think because they have big breasts, big butts, and they're better than other women or something. Um, and the reason why this woman feels like that is because that you have made her feel that way. Because this is the type of women you go after. Everything you see that has some type of round shape to it in the back or the front upstairs you, you want to go after it. And this is because you don't know your self-worth. So you've been laying down with anything and everyone. I don't know what the heck this is, but 
You may want to leave that institution out in the cold, family out in the cold, friendship. I don't know what this is um, because you're under some type of judgment. Just like the entire institution is under judgment. The entire family is under judgment. And there are people in this community that may want to apologize to who they've been coming after because their lives are going through some type of havoc and it's just the beginning. Yeah, they're weighed down. They're burdened. They've been planning someone's ending, someone's demise. It's not going according. They're trying to do sneak attacks and all kinds of stuff. They're all under burdens, under judgment, okay? This is them. Ten of swords, ten of wands, way down. I fall in and I can't get up kind of energy. They won't be getting up anytime soon. This is a whole community or family of people that have been coming up against someone innocent, someone that did nothing to them, okay? And the whole family is going to keep going through that because they are indebted to someone's lineage. Someone is like a matriarch in their lineage, their bloodline. So this is why you are coming after them. It's not going so well because they're... It's like a group of ancestors watching you all and seeing, and they're like, oh, they're trying to come for the matriarch of our lineage. Like, this is someone that has restored our bloodline, and you're trying to destroy them, so we have to come after you. So this is why every time you take action to do something, it's not turning out like you, like you want it to, because you have a whole, I'm telling you, a whole lineage coming after you, watching you, balancing something out. Every time you break something, they fix it. So you all are under judgment, not only by the spiritual realm, not only by the universe, but by a whole lineage that don't got time to, yeah, they're not playing with you all. They're going to keep causing havoc in your lives until you decide to be practical about this person that you're trying to destroy. Until you decide to be practical and walk away, they're going to keep causing havoc. And the, yeah, you all are absolutely under judgment. You may want to fall back. Fall back. It's like a ancestor, like a group of ancestors, a lineage. They asked someone to restore their bloodline. They said, "This is this is the one that's gonna do it this lifetime," because there's an empress, high priestess energy that comes from a bloodline where the ancestors of that person did not get it right in the past. Like they feel their purpose. Each person that incarnated in that bloodline feel their purpose. Either they jumped off board they were either executed they were either uh, uh they would turn to the dark or they did things in a specific way that just did, <clears throat> did not lead them to where it was supposed to but this person has already restored some type of bloodline and they're not e even in their full purpose yet they've restored a bloodline and this is why they're so heavily protected and being washed over so the, those ancestors, they don't mind causing havoc in you all's life. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust is what I just heard. So they don't care who has to go, what you lose. They don't care. They don't care. Okay. They don't care. I keep hearing ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Like returning to, yeah, I'm tell, telling you, returning to what it is that you you come from and you know uh the human body when we when we are buried what we, we become what dust dust you are dust you shall return to so that is what is about to be happening to a lot of you for coming after someone that did nothing to you simply out of jealousy you may want to reconsider your uh, uh play mix that you want to partner up with your partners in crime you may want to turn a new leaf and get rid of these burdens that you are going through. I had my ten of ten of wands out here earlier, and I went and put it back in the in the deck. Um, I'm sure I'll find it when I do. I'll put it back in the position that. Oh, I moved. Lord have mercy. <laughs> I went and put it down there, and then I forgot. But this whole family is way down. The friendship group splitting up. There's no harmony amongst you all. You're all going through endings, right? betraying each other and i don't know what you thought was going to happen this is why it, how it was always supposed to happen happen okay but someone has restored their bloodline i'm telling you you all have issues coming in you're all in your mental you're all losing it behind the scenes you feel stuck can't move blockages and everything the person you hire the people you hire all of them are going through endings 
Even if you just hire someone to bully a, a high priestess or to do them something, they're going through some type of ending behind the scenes. And the endings, losing jobs, losing cars, marriages, relationships. There's a couple in here trying to save face and they don't even, like there's no love in their relationship. They're trying to save face publicly and act like everything is okay. Everything is not okay. Your lives are in havoc. And they, these people, these beings are going to keep wreaking havoc on you all. Because this is what you ask for. You ask for death. So it may not be a literal death for all of you, but you're going through some type of death and it's going to help you go through some type of ascension. Okay? And no one feels sorry for you. Nothing. There are no remorse. Even your ancestors don't feel sorry for you. Some of you ancestors have backed away. I'm telling you. Some of you ancestors have backed away from you because they know, they told you many, many times to walk away. But you said, no, 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 no. We can control this person. You wanted to control someone's life, someone's pathway. How are you going to control someone that's more powerful than you? How are you going to control someone that's more high ranking than you? Huh? Sir, just like I said, you were in the dark and you made some type of prayer and this gift here. The high priestess empress energy was gifted to you and you neglected them. So now you want to come in and give them an offer. So you may be choosing to do things the right way now in your life, right? So you want to reconnect with someone, but they're trying to block you from connecting with someone. This is a heavy message. This is a high priestess. And someone may be telling you, I don't know if this is like a, I don't know. This is a mother, ex-wife, ex-baby, I don't know, baby mama or whatever, you sure you want to go to someone that knows the truth? Everything you do, they're going to be asking you a million questions. And I think what you're saying is, yeah, I do. What they're trying to do is keep you from moving forward and seeing the truth. Again, you are a king of wands. You're going through some type of healing and you're choosing to see things from a higher perspective. That like you're going through some type of awakening and people are pissed off that you are seeing things for what it is because they want you to stay in this clown energy, right? Goofing off all the time, not taking things seriously, staying in your mind all the time, questioning everything. That's what they want for you. Those are not friends. Friends and families will never try to keep you in that kind of state of mind. And literally, if you're trying to go take some type of new direction in your life and someone is telling you they're going to blackmail you if you do this, they're going to expose this if you do this, that should let you know automatically that they are not, uh, okay, they're not healed, they're not balanced, they're mentally unstable, you need to get away from them as far as possible, that's what you need to be doing. But because they're, I'm telling you, you're going to an empress and the truth is, review about this empress that this person is a healer this person is healed this person is authentic they're in touch with their inner style inner side <laughs> i don't know what style is but it came out okay so you want to communicate with this empress energy there could be someone in here from this group that wants to come towards this empress energy as well you are not friends with this empress and they know that you all were unable to defeat this person and this is why you want to come towards them to offer them some type of false friendship. There's a woman in here, I don't know if this is like a queen of cups, that wants to come towards an empress energy and give them a friendship offer uh, because she wants to be seen as the more mature person. This is the truth being revealed about a queen of cups. She's considering coming, to, coming after or coming towards the person she tried to destroy and give them some type of friendship. That woman don't want your friendship, honey. Someone sees you a mile away, she don't want your friendship. She does not want your friendship. You're going to have to move on just like this empress is moving on and healing and will have wish fulfillment in life. Whether it's with the king of wands or someone else, they're going to have wish fulfillment in life. Okay? Absolutely. Um, there could be someone of feminine energy that is sick in a community. I don't know if they're hiding it or whatever. They could be hiding their illness. Okay? They could be hiding their illness. Someone is planning or a group is plotting another sneak attack. So collective, be careful, but in, uh, uh, but the truth is, uh, being exposed about this situation and is bringing balance. It has brought some type of balance in this situation, but the truth is out and you're going to be moving forward, but someone is sick in this community and maybe she's not telling people, uh, repercussions of the antics. 
Okay, repercussions of the antics. Okay, so this family, because their car came out sideways, they're unsure about how to even move forward because these towers keep hitting back to back. And a lot of the times the tower is that they plan an attack and it does not go accordingly. And then they end up losing something and it's keeping them stuck in some type of mindset or situation. And you keep standing your ground, right? It, like these people are going through it behind the scenes and I don't understand why. They keep coming after someone and it's not turning out good. It's not meant to work out for you all. I don't get what kind of level of stupidity this is. Because someone's true character is already known. Like this king of wands already know who the true empress is, what the truth of the matter is, how you all got together to destroy someone's character, someone's image, how you all got together to block someone's offers and opportunities, everything. He knows the truth. Okay. Maybe keeping his distance from you all. Okay. Even a king of pentacles in here is standing his ground now. Like, he don't want to be part of this nonsense because he's way down as well behind the scenes. He's burdened. Like, everybody is going through some type of ending, some type of death. I don't know what in the... Oh, my Lord. And you may have a king of pentacles that wants to tell you that maybe you should try... Like, they want to tell this uh, empress energy that you're coming towards that they should try compromising with this toxic group. This woman don't have nothing to compromise with these people for or with. They're the ones that started the war. Well, this, yeah, they're the ones that started the war with the empress. Little did they know when they started this war, they were starting it with the whole lineage and the universe. So they're the ones that's going to have to compromise. This Empress Energy, High Priestess, don't got nothing to compromise about because they're already success successful and they're the ones in the upright. Someone is innovative as heck, so they always have options on how to move forward and someone is wise as can be, supported by the universe, by their ancestors. Everything they invest in, honey, everything they invest in will always be fruitful. It'll always multiply, okay? They're healed. So uh, that king of wands, there's a king of wands that wants to take some type of action. Absolutely. Because he's going through some type of healing. He's going through some type of healing. So this is why he's not taking action to bring balance into something. Wants to offer, make an offer to someone. It's like a little offer, but it's going to be something that leads to a lot. Um. Uh, High Priestess, Empress, Queen of Cups, whatever energy. Because, honey, you, you're showing up in a lot of energy in this download. You, you have some type of contract with this masculine. You don't got to get in a relationship with them, but you do got some type of contract with them. I'm just going to leave it at that. You can accept a business offer from them and leave it at that. Or you can choose to get in some type of connection with them but they first need to put in the work to heal before you do that because if they're done they're going to be dragging you to he double hockey stick with them and i mean as far as like the state of living like you're going to be trapped in some type of toxic way of living okay so this family may want to be practical now i said it they may want to be practical now about this situation before moving forward